If you live in a cold climate like we do, and you've ever kept chickens, you know that providing water for them through the winter can be very challenging, especially if you don't have electricity nearby. To solve that problem, I just wanted to show a quick solar experiment that I've been working on. So I have two buckets full of water. This one is just acting as the control. And this one, I have a heating element that's wired directly to a 190 watt solar panel. So at this time of the year, water in containers like this will freeze completely solid overnight. And it's about noon today. And I just wanted to show what the two containers look like after getting some sun for a few hours this morning. So in the control bucket, about half of the bucket is solid ice. And in the one with the heating element, the water is actually feels pretty warm, um, which is surprising to me, given it's been a pretty overcast day. But even with that, it looks like we've got enough to melt all the ice and make it warm. Wow. And to give a little better view of the whole system, we have the solar panel, we got some MC4 connectors, we have PV wire, and that's running directly to each of the leads on the heating element, which has a rubber gasket there. And I just 3D printed a little uh, nut to go on the inside since the heating element didn't come with anything. So yeah, the trick is just finding a heating element that has a low enough resistance to let you get full power out of your solar panel. And most of the 120 and 240 volt uh, heating elements that I saw online, the resistance was just too high. So this one on paper says it's rated for 1500 watts at 48 volts, which would put the resistance at about 1.5. That's far, far below what we needed for this specific solar panel. But yeah, you can see even little bubbles forming, but it is warm, it feels nice. But yeah, this wasn't a super scientific test, but it surprised me how well it's actually working. I feel like it could be a good solution for other people too, if you're looking to keep water from freezing for your chickens or livestock, and it might be in a location where you don't have power readily accessible. But yeah, it's pretty low cost, solar panel, direct line to a heating element. I don't think you can get really much simpler than that. I'm working on designing a more permanent setup now, something with a larger volume container, also potentially looking at something with insulated walls as well. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And if you have any ideas of how I can make this work even better, let me know. See you soon.